tired of your 3D prints not sticking to the bed and not looking right and you're ready to just give up and throw the whole thing right out the window? Well, don't. I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to fix that, kind of how I do it and what I've found success with. So we're going to start with a real simple, complete bed level. I use the screws tilt adjust command and it's going to go through and it's going to measure each one of the screw points on the bed and then it's going to give me the, the adjustment I need to make. And it makes it really simple. Turn it clockwise, counterclockwise. Now it's going to measure each one of these points after it's warmed up, of course, because it has to do this with a warm bed because the metal on the plate will change with heat. So you can see right here, the bed's not horrible. It's telling me counterclockwise on the right side screws. So I look at them, it tells you in hours and minutes. So I divide it up like a clock, right? So I try and just turn that knob what I think would be like one minute, counterclockwise or clockwise. And then I hit retry and the machine goes back into it again. Well, sometimes this takes a couple of tries um, because you don't want to really crank on the wheels really hard or drastically. A little tiny little bit will usually do it. Okay, so pretty close. You can see we moved it about two minutes. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna give it a little tiny little twist and you can see I barely moved it. And then we're gonna hit retry and we're gonna do it again. Now I forgot to mention, if you don't have a pro and you don't have it hooked up uh, the way I do to my computer, you can just go ahead with the paper method and then you'll move on to the next step uh, when we do the test print. Okay. So let's see, there it is, all zeros. So we know that the bed right now is pretty level and pretty good to go. So on to step two. Now the next part is super easy. I have my computer networked up, so I just go into my computer and I go in and I do the auto full bed level. And the machine takes over and it goes through and it maps the entire bed. And this takes a couple minutes um, on this particular one. I believe it's like 121 points or something like that, that it's measuring. Okay, when that's done, you're left with something that looks like this. Now don't panic. This doesn't really mean that much. This is just what the computer sees and what the head sees, and it will compensate for this. Okay, so next, we're just gonna run a test print because I wanna see kind of what the machine is gonna do now uh, and how the overall, how close I got it. So I just use this little hexagon I find it pretty helpful. Uh, you can move these wherever you want, all over the bed. Um, and then I just kind of adjust it on the fly. So what you're gonna see here 
is I'm going to watch, kind of let it get going, and look at the print as it's going. Now, rather than print the whole thing, I'm going to adjust this on the fly. And I'm going to try my best here to show you guys how I do that. Um, sorry if it's a little shaky. But you can see the print. It's not real great right now. It's kind of stringy. Uh, so I'm going to go over and I'm just going to drop it uh, by 0, 1. And we'll watch it a couple passes. It's looking a little bit better there. I'm not quite 100% happy with it, so I'm going to give it another little bump here in a second. Take it down just another little notch. And uh, it's getting a lot better. I know it's kind of hard to see with the white filament, but um, I'm getting a little more happy with what I'm seeing here. It looks pretty decent. It's adhering to the bed. It's sticking well, squishing out like it's supposed to. And I'll give it just one more because uh, I think it could get just a little bit better. I should say don't use my exact numbers because every printer is different. And but I'm by no means an expert on this stuff, but I've been doing this for a few months and this is just kind of what I've learned from trial and error. I'm going to let it finish up here and we'll see what uh, what comes out. And here we go. So this is what we started with. And on the left is that first print that you saw me kind of making adjustments on the fly with. And then on the right, I did one more just to be on the safe side to make sure that I got everything where I want it to be. It's nice and clean and smooth, and we're ready to print. It's that easy.